The investigation continues into what led a 22-year-old man to stab 10 people at a mall in St. Cloud. Police are looking at Dahar Adan's rampage as a possible act of terrorism. Meantime, the man responsible for stopping him, an off-duty cop, was the right person in the right place at the right time. Fox 9's Rob Olson joining us now from the Crossroads Center Mall. Rob, how fortunate this officer knew exactly what to do. Yeah, you know, this is an off-duty officer who just happened to be at the mall shopping, but also happens to be a firearms instructor and competitor. His police chief today hailing him is the right person in the right place. She was working at Crossroads Center Saturday night and about 50 feet away from where the attack ended. What did you first hear then? I heard like a shuffle between some people and then we heard some gunshots and we heard somebody yell, get down. She came to Avon City Hall Monday to hear the police chief's news conference because she lives here and casually knows part-time officer Jason Falconer who shot and killed the attacker. She did not want to be identified. I am very thankful to Jason for his professional um, and being there, number one for being there, but I'm very thankful for putting his life at stake to protect the rest of us. It, rest of everybody else. I believe there was divine intervention. I think he was the person that needed to be there to prevent it from being worse than it was. Avon's police chief praises Falconer as being the right person in the right place. Falconer's main job is owner of a gun range in Waite Park called Tactical Advantage. He's a competitive shooter, according to the chief, and a firearms instructor. He's in fact the instructor for the city of Avon. If I was going to ask anybody to fire round, live rounds in a crowded mall, um, I would trust his abilities next to anybody's. Falconer happened to be at Crossroads Center Saturday night simply as another shopper, according to St. Cloud's mayor. He was there to buy a gift for his daughter. Wound up stopping a man who had already stabbed nine people from hurting anybody else. I'm doing okay. It's, it, I will be afraid, I will say. I will have some, and as time goes on, I'm sure it'll lessen, but um, it was close enough. Now, St. Cloud Police today, as you mentioned, identified a 10th victim in this attack. They said they were canvassing them all looking for security video when they discovered that there was a 10th person who had been, been uh, stabbed in this or been cut, but uh, the wound was not severe enough that they did not seek medical attention and did not report it to police. That's why they only found out about that today. Live in St. Cloud, Rob Olson, Fox 9.